Hey everybody, this is going to be a collective reading today. Uh, if you uh, have not done so, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is below. Okay, so I wanted to thank one of my uh, subscribers. She got me this this hoodoo tarot. This was in my um, in my Amazon wish list, you all, and I have always wanted this deck. Miss Alicia, thank you so much for purchasing this. It was a shock to me when I got home because I'm over at my mother's house like every other day. So when I got home this morning, this was in my door. I appreciate you for this because I had a really, really rough last couple of days and it's really, really uplifted me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So thank you so much. Thank you for all for all of you who contribute to my channel. Thank you for believing in me because I couldn't do this and I would not do this if if I didn't get if I didn't get the feedback and the conversations that I have gotten from you all and the gifts that I've gotten for, for you all. So I, I just want to thank you all uh, for your support because I have so many decks, you know, that 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 people have have given to me and have have donated to the channel. So for for those of you who can't contribute to the channel or you know you because you can't afford to, that's fine. And I'm gonna always as Laura will, I'm gonna always give you all these free readings, you know, because the people who do donate and do pay for personal readings that really, really helps and they send me materials to do the readings, that really puts a lot and that makes me put more effort into my channel. And I thank you all for really, really believing in me because a lot of people in my family don't, and that's a damn shame. Anyway, so we're gonna do a reading for you all, okay? This is going to be our life purpose reading. Take what you need and leave the rest, okay? I'm going to ask the spirit guys to give me concise energy here, please, for the collective on their life purpose reading. And uh, Miss Alicia, thank you so much for your donation. We have writing. Your life purpose involves writing, okay? Life purpose reading for the collective, please. And we have author. <laughs> wow. Life purpose for the collective, please. And... I know y'all see me shuffling. That says book. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I know y'all see me shuffling, and that says books. Okay, so we have writing, author, and books. So somebody's life purpose involves books, writing, being an author, publisher, being, I'm hearing, maybe being an editor. Okay. What is your life purpose, please, Spirit Guide? They want to know what their life purpose is. We have support and we have sensitivity. Your life purpose, please. We have school. School, okay? So maybe some of you would like to go back to school to maybe teach. I did see the children choir earlier before I, before I started shuffling, maybe going back to, to, to school to teach children, okay? Uh, maybe an art teacher or, or writing, maybe a, a composition. Or, or, or what is it called? Um, I can't remember that class. It was one of, one of my favorite classes in, in high school. I love, love, love that class. English Lit, okay? Maybe e e teaching an English Lit or getting an English Literature degree, a bachelor's degree, okay? Um, you heal, inspire, teach, <clears throat> and entertain with the words you write. Okay, you have a book. Inside of you that that wishes to be expressed, make the time and effort to write it. Okay, you you connect your life purpose through your involvement with books. Okay, but I'm thinking this is a different message. So we have a few of you who will, will relate to this half of the reading, who who has a book, who needs to write a book, or who needs to finish a book. And I know that's me because I'm working on like two or three different books, you all. Okay, but we have here support, sensitivity, and school. This is uh, you, your life purpose fully supports you, whatever that is, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Okay. The answer that you, that you're seeking involves going to school. So you need to learn more about your health. You need to learn more about what's going on with you, what you're allergic to, what, what you become, become sensitive to in your age. Maybe there's something that you're sensitive to now that you weren't sensitive to last year. You need to, to do some research to figure out what is that? Why am I so all of a, all of a sudden allergic to almonds when they never bothered me before? They probably always bothered you. They're just getting worse right now. Okay. All right. So that's a different group. It could be the same if you resonate with both. But this particular is the people who wants to write. And I have your money. Okay. Money. This, this is more income. This is your blessing. This is this is this is your um. 
your destiny to write so you can be a, a published author to make more income. Okay. What is your life purpose? What is your life purpose, please? What is this author card here for? And we have it, and, and it's going to help you help others, you know, whatever story it is that you're wanting to write. Okay. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed to take time to write it. It's not only going to help. It's going to be therapeutic. I'm hearing that in my head. It's going to be very, very therapeutic for you. Okay. I actually have a, a book I wrote on. It's on Amazon. Okay. And it's, uh, it's called Stolen Innocence. And we have here coming out. I'm hearing two coming out of the dark. You know, that Gloria Estefan song. So you connect your life purpose, which is supporting your life purpose. So it's kind of like all ties in. So whatever life purpose that you have through books is going to is going to support you financially, physically, and emotionally. Coming out of the dark, okay? Um, you connect your life purpose through your involvement with books, and you're you're definitely coming out of whatever it is that that's holding you back. For one, is fear because you haven't finished this book yet, you haven't finished this project yet, okay? And it's going to be it's, it's really really going to be lucrative for you, very very successful. It's going to need lead to new pathways. It's going to it's going to lead to new opportunities, okay? For for more projects, I'm hearing in my head more projects, more writing projects, okay? Being an author for you, a person who writes, what is your life purpose, please? And we have coming out of fear. You know, you're holding yourself back. But you will be recognized. You will, Your name will be, people will see you. I want to say infamous, but we're not going to push it. Just know that this is a life journey that you can do. Could be infamous, yes. And you're coming out of it. And this is going to be something you always want to do. Wish fulfillment. People are going to really, really know you. They're going to see you and they're going to say, oh, I know who that is. She wrote that book or he wrote that book. I know that story real, real well. Can we turn this into a screenplay? You know, something about Woody Allen. Don't know where that came from. It's somebody thinking about Woody Allen or I don't know where that came from. But anyway, okay. Okay, support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Your life purpose fully supports you. But accept what's coming your way. Don't turn it away because you have the gift. You know the gift to move on, to do ostentaneous things in your life. That's what I heard in my head. You have the gift to do ostentaneous things in your life, okay? I don't know where that word came from, y'all. You're being sensitive, you know, and not only sensitive to, to what you eat, to different ingredients and foods and stuff, environments too, but you're also being sensitive to, to, your, to your esoteric energies. You're at the point in your life where you're not going to accept no more BS from nobody, okay? And you, you're, on a spiritual, you're on a spiritual path. You're on a spiritual journey, okay? And you're really, really, really listening to your intuition and you're figuring out what makes you sensitive. You're figuring out what you need to do in your life to let shit go. And, and the universe is saying, learn from your mistakes, learn from people, learn from your environment, feel their energy. You walk into a place, you already know it's uncomfortable. What the hell are you going to do? Walk away if it don't if it does not serve you, or if you feel that it doesn't serve you, give it a chance. But you already know intuitively what you need to do. Okay, walk away from your BS. Walk away from shady people who don't mean you any good. You know, boss up. I'm hearing in my head. Team up with the right kind of people. Okay, and walk away from what no longer serves you. You don't need to. You don't need it. Okay. This is your life purpose reading. Got the King of Swords. And yeah, you're definitely working on yourself, cutting out people, places, charters, or whatever that is, you know, who what no longer serves you. And not having to worry so much for doing it. Don't don't look back on the situation and say, I ended it, but why am I still tripping off of it? It it, it didn't benefit you anyway, so walk away from it. Don't live your life thinking, well, man, I should have waited a little bit longer. Maybe I should have did this. No, move on. Because you have a lot of treasures coming your way, but you got to be willing and open to accept the beautiful treasures that are headed your way. If you're writing a book, get ready. You know, whatever it is that you're doing, work on you. Finish the book. Your life purpose, yoga. Your life's your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. And it ties in with you learning more about your intuition and about really what makes you tick on the inside spiritually and esoterically. Okay, what about this book here for you? If, it, if it's not a book, you all, it's, it's anything creative that you're sitting on. 
any kind of endeavor that you've always wanted to do. It's time to let loose and do what you need to do for you. Okay. Give me one more card, please. For your life purpose. Your life purpose. Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Practice. Practice makes perfect. All right. I hope this message resonates with you all. Thank you so much for your support. And I and thank you for believing in me. Talk to you later.